Hey everybody, this is Chris Gethard. I'm an actor, comedian, whatever you want to call it. I'm here right now with Travis. How are you, Travis? Good to see you. Now, we, we met about two minutes ago in real life. That's very true. Yes, but the reason um, we're hanging out today is to discuss something. Travis, it's fair to say you're not a fan of mine. Well, like I wrote to you for the second time, so that I, right. you know, I wasn't a fan of your work. Fair. As, you know. Right. And I happened to make that point clear. Yes, you did. You did. And the way you made that clear, I did a TV show on Comedy Central in 2010 called Big Lake. And on my IMDb message board, this was posted. And it turned out this was you, Travis. So the title, the subject of the message was, Please Stop Acting. It, and then your message, I actually found it very well crafted. It said, Please, you are hurting yourself and everyone around you. I can only imagine that you made Will Ferrell smile at some point, and when he needed a replacement, you happened to be standing somewhere in the vicinity. Don't let the fact that you are the lead on a show fool you. You have no discernible talent, no charisma, no personality, and no recognizable skills. Unless your performance is some kind of meta joke a la Andy Kaufman, or to a lesser extent in every sense of the word, Joaquin Phoenix, you need to stop acting. Spend a few years making atonements for your sins and vow to never, ever, ever stand in front of a camera for the rest of your life. This is my favorite part. This part made me laugh. This is a burn. The one intelligent career choice you have made thus far is to not have your agent, assuming he hasn't hung himself, post a picture on your IMDb profile. You would be wise to try and distance yourself from yourself as much as possible. For the love of God, please stop acting, please. That's pretty much it verbatim, yeah. Yeah, that was, I wrote it down verbatim. Yeah, so, you know, and you know, to a certain degree. I, I stand by that in the context, or in the context of Big Lake. Big I haven't sure. seen anything else you've done, sure. so I really so don't So you know. reacted poorly to that show, and my performance in particular. I was really sick, you know, and just I decided I was going to watch this show, and I watched like four or five episodes, and I was like, God, this show's fucking horrible. So you're like home, you're already, you're sick, you're already in bed. I was, you know, but I liked some of the other people on there. Just, you That's know, fair. You know. I, so I was the main point of yeah. contention. Yeah, okay. I just couldn't wrap my mind around you. So sure. Fair. I got bored enough to do that. So. Yeah, yeah. I noticed in another post about the show, not focused on me in particular, you do refer to me by the name... Whitey McTalentless. Yeah, I like to do that, throw Mick on the last name. You know, oh, oh, that's... It's not original, but it's sure, fun, you know, sure. so I stand by. So let me ask you this, and I by no means am I here to... I put myself out into this life right. and this world, so it's not a guilt question, it's more a food for thought question. When you found out, because I, I googled you and contacted you via Facebook... Right, you, you went pretty... Far, the best way I could tell is that you looked through all my IMDb postings, found one that had a link possibly to an old MySpace page, which I wasn't using. I couldn't really figure out how else you would then from there. It took me a few hours I'm of sure you had a few yeah. hours. I yeah. found it because the MySpace thing noted that you work with the Roller Derby in St. I place. had it when they first started. I was a founder with the... You know, as a and then I found owner. a newspaper article about that. And then I Facebook friend. It was creepy. My, my, I tracked it down in a creepy way. Yeah. But when you found out I had read it, was there any, what were your, emo, were there any emotional reactions to that? No, I mean, Chris wrote me asking me to do this, and I wrote I him did. back, and I thought that second letter was really personally. But, it was pretty good, it was pretty but, good. But, I mean, you know, like I said, it, it allows you to say things that you wouldn't necessarily say to someone's face. That sure. means that you're not trying to hurt someone's feelings, and you don't assume that somebody is, you know, trolling their own name, and like, right. just, and watching that, and being made sad. But yeah, I mean, I would have to imagine I'm the only person looking at my IMDb yeah, message and me, board. apparently. You and I, I think, may be the only two people who have ever looked at my IMDb message board. So it's fun, but at the same time, you don't want to hurt someone. I actually went to Brooklyn to apologize to somebody from grade school. I had beer with them the other night. Really? Yeah. So this is like... And it wasn't even the same guy that I thought it was. It was somebody, but at the time, I was like, yeah, I think it's a kid I used to pick on a little bit, so I went... Oh, wow, so this whole like, trip to New York for you has been like... It's just been fucking around. It's not really... It's not like an atonement. I'm okay. not like walking around like apologizing to everybody on me. I'm okay. so... Okay, that's fair. So when you... Because, I, you know, like you said, I did research your IMDb contributions. When you don't like something, you tear it up on that well, site. Well, you have to remember, I'm in St. Louis. So there's not a lot of fuck all to do. No, I take that back. I love St. Louis. Um, but, you know, it's just... It's just jibber-jabber. I mean, it's what people do. You just get out there, you say things, you talk, no one's listening. 
Except for you. I was listening. You got the cuff to the door. It hurt, man. Yeah. The part about how my agent might have hung himself. If you have one. That's I tough. I do. I do have an agent. It's a, you said he, my agent's female, but when you said maybe she should have hung herself, that stung. Yeah. So I have some anxiety about, you know, career stuff. Yeah, I can see that. But yeah. I mean, you're with the cool crew, and like, you just, the one, like this group and the different comedians come out of here, you're oh, with the, be theater, and yeah. just different things like that. You're with a cool crew, you've got enough going on. Yeah. But, you know, but I can see why you'd be nervous. <laughs> Based, mean, on, based on not the again. Like, no, go not, for it. Just, you know, comedy. I know a lot of comedians. I've read biographies and autobiographies of comedians. My neighbor's a comedian. I, and I see it a lot in just that nervousness that you all oh, have. Oh, yeah. That all of you all have. Yeah. You know, and it's just like this really kind of, it's hard to describe. I mean, you, I don't want to say pathetic because it, that sounds so harsh. But I think that you all maybe would say that about yourselves. I might, I might, I might say that. It's like that neediness thing and that nervousness oh, thing. Oh, yeah. When you come to the biggest city there and try your hardest and do yeah. an average. Yeah. And I'm sure it keeps you up at night. This city will crush you, yeah. Uh, I bake. You know, you I, do. I bake cookies and bread. I mean, would you say, so, would you say that you are better at baking than well, I am absolutely. at acting? Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. but I'm not that great at baking. But, but you're no. still better than I am uh, at acting. Yeah, that's, that's apples and oranges or, you know, okay. bread in a big lake, I don't know. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess I'm not the most confident guy in the world. I don't think I'm the most talented either. I'd like to think I'm a little better than your message yeah, knows. Yeah, I mean, but at the same time, you really shouldn't be getting hung up on this shit. Oh, no, I'm not that hung up on it more than just interested. I, I'm still, I mean, I, I took the chance. I came to New York. I tried yeah, to put myself absolutely. in that position and get that opportunity. And here you are. Yeah, making Crawling internet videos. It. Yeah, making internet videos. the dude videos. who doesn't like me. Uh, like I said, it's nothing about you personal. It was just about, it, it was me... Half sick, half delusional, and just writing stuff out. But I still stand by what I wrote. I still think it's fair. Know. Yeah. Well, you burned me pretty hard. Yeah. I came Thank all the way to New York to apologize. Yeah, just and this was you. also done. Um, what's like September two thousand ten. Yeah, it was like back when your show was on the air. We're now yeah. just about in April two thousand eleven. Yeah, this is a long because it was weird. I got that message from I got a friend request from you, and I thought, who the hell is Chris Kithard? How the hell do I know this guy? Oh, it's pronounced Gethard. I know, but yeah. you know. But then, you know, did he get hard? I mean, right. did he get there? Right, right. He played right. both ways. But, um... And when I friended you, you put a message on my wall. Which you said, probably removed. Yeah, you Which said, I was disappointed. I thought, said, well, why are you friending me? I, I think you suck. I think you suck. Why did you send me a friend request? I think you suck. Which yeah. I thought, given the tone of the message you sent me, like, oh, I'm playing along and I can take the hit. But then you removed the one from your Facebook. I thought maybe that was a little bit... But well, nobody... We hadn't spoke... We hadn't we had responded really yet at that yeah, point. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, there was some incidents. But that's because I, I that's because I because when I first got that, I was like, okay, this dude obviously spent some time tracking me down. Yeah, it took. A and lot. it had to be because once I figured out who you were, and I was like, oh, I remember that. That's a guy from Big Lake. I saw that show. That you know, I remember writing that, and I was like, he must have tracked me down off of that somehow. Yeah. And so once I r realized all that, I was like, well, that's weird. It was weird. Yeah. You would be surprised at how weird it was. But people do that all the time. I mean, I'm not. You know, it's not necessarily weird for you. I mean, people are out there looking up their first. You know, girlfriend, their first right. this, that, and the other. So it's not. I knew where you lived because before like, I knew your last name. I know. You know, I still think of people on Craigslist, and by the okay. time by the time they come over, I know what they do, where they live, how much their house is worth. It's just not because I'm like some weird stalker. It's because I like to, you know, you just it's easy yeah. to do, and you just can figure out who people are. You know. Yeah, I like to know when someone hates me this much. I like to find out I mean, how much. Hate about you. That's the thing. I don't really hate anybody. This know. denote. You have to admit this denotes. It's pretty harsh, but I mean that's that's internet trolling. That's not real. Hatred. That's not real emotion. That's that's the bluster of a bully. I mean, that's not sure. like a real thing. So as so, I mean, so you're saying troll and bully. I, yeah. As it, a troll and bully, as admitted, a troll bully. Yes. knowing that this affected me so much, is that like the dream? Or not really, like, because like yeah. I said, once again, you don't really expect. Like I would never say this to someone's face, not because I didn't have the courage, just because I wouldn't want to hurt them. So yeah, like you know, you, social, see, it would be a social faux pas to say this. Right, and even if I'm online chatting around, if I know the individual or even vaguely know them, I'm not gonna. Sure. Fire all cannons forward, you know, because there's a certain give and take in a certain play. When it's just like the guy on the TV that sucks in that show, okay. then you kind of can be free to. Every time I say that, he smiles and looks at the camera like, hey, he said I suck again, little fucker. <laughs> a little bit, yeah, a little bit. But you know, hey, that was a hard gig. I, that show was in uh, development hell, from what I understand. I did like, my I, best, man. I, I did my best. I, 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 I wouldn't have been able to do much better. 
Well, no, co- I don't want to burn any bridges <laughs> when people have given me chances. But no, you know, it was a hard line. I do, I do my best. Name, John Hedder left, and the, you know. Oh, well, let's not get into that, right? Let's not get, let's into, not that. get into that. Yes. Um, but now that we've met, because you said you, now, if you know someone a little bit, you would do that. So I feel like maybe my next project, you might not be so, or maybe you'd be even meaner. What's that? Oh, like, what's your next project? I don't know. I mean, time will tell. We'll see well, what works Well, you know, out. I'll give you a grain of salt. Yeah, because right now I'm at that point where I'm like, who knows what's coming down the pike? Maybe something, maybe nothing. Other guys, too. We'll see, man. I went to the bar from there the other night. I've never seen the movie, but... Oh, yeah? Nick Bannis? About Columbia University. Oh, is that the <coughs> bars they go to? I don't know. I didn't saw the flick, but, you know, someone, okay. they had a picture That's of Will Ferrell. They said they hung up Christmas lights during the movie, and we left them up. All right, cool. Class it up a notch. Well, I'm glad we're friends now, because maybe it means you'll take it easy on me next time. Yeah, yeah you know, assuming there is one. Yeah. Great point, Travis. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking time out thank of your trip to New York. Yes. Thank you. I gotta go up to LaGuardia. That's fair. Have That's a fair. safe trip home to St. Louis. Uh huh. <sighs> gonna make it? I'll make. I'll be okay in the long run. I think we'll see where I land. I've been trying to figure it out for years now. Talk to your brother. You What's know? that? So talk to your brother about it. See, I researched you too. You and your brother have a nice little like combative, friendly relationship. Oh sure wow. Talk. Well, now we're getting real sick. Now we're getting real. How'd you, know? how'd you pick up on that? Uh, let's see, I've looked you up on... Let's not. Let's cut it there while we talk more.